jokes. So I actually like the heater. After two hours of out gassing outside, there's still a smell, but it's very, very faint. So the smell is largely went away. I still won't use it in the bedroom. I want it in like the living room or downstairs. We'll keep it for a while and see if it, the smell completely goes away. But it is the DeLonghi Microthermic Flat Panel Radiator Heater. Now it has legs, you can wheel it around. You saw that in some of my videos. I didn't show the legs, but I showed it's kind of sitting upright. You can mount it on a, on a wall like I plan to do if it doesn't smell at all and we can put it in the bedroom. It is made out of a sheet of mica or mica. I'm not sure if it's a sheet of mica or it's mica bonded to some sort of substrate like metal or something. Now, <clears throat> the thing with mica is it is a crystalline structure. So if you put electronics or if you put voltage across a crystal, it's going to do two things. It's going to heat and it's going to vibrate. And it's why the old quartz heaters that maybe your mom had. When you first turn them on, they vibrate, they made all that noise because the quartz was vibrating. And then once it heats up, it's more quiet. Now my quartz heater that I compared this to doesn't smell at all and didn't smell strongly when I first turned it on for the first time ever. Now, all heaters will smell when you turn them on for the first time. That's number one. And number two, when you open them up, and get them out for the season and turn them on for the first time, they're probably gonna smell because the dust is gonna be on the heating elements and it's gonna cook off. Now that's a different smell than what I smelled when I first turned this on. When I first turned this on, it was like chemical fumy smell. And I guess it was whatever coating was on the mica and the heating element and the heater, I guess it was burning off. And it was outgassing a little bit and that's what I smelled, it was strong. After two hours of it being outside, it's not so strong. I can't smell it unless I get my nose close to the heater. As far as the heater goes, it's completely silent. Um, the element gets pretty hot. I used my infrared thermometer and it was around 400 degrees. but I can probably touch, I can't touch the screen. It's warm, it doesn't burn me. It probably won't catch anything on fire. It's thin, it's light. I do like it. They do put a notice in the manual on page five about the smell. It's gonna smell for two hours. Now I am sensitive to these smells. So if somebody wears cologne or perfume, it clogs up my allergies and I can smell it. So just so you know, I am that type of person that's sensitive to smells. And it does smell when you first turn it on. But after two hours, the smell does go away. It's running inside right next to me right now. I can't smell it. I don't know if eight hours of sleeping, if my sinuses would be clogged up. But it's fine. So I do like it. It's completely sun. It heats the room well. And it works good. Thanks for watching. And thanks for sticking in there.
unfortunately the camera cut off and so did my timer but it's 72 degrees down here it's about 40 minutes or what does it say 38 minutes I still measure 400 in some places here 404 I think you can see that. Let's see what the cord is. And the hottest point of the cord, right up next to the white plugs in, is 116. Let's see if I can capture that. I got 115. So it's after 40 minutes on high. So I'm going to turn it off now. I can tell you it doesn't smell quite as bad down here. Or it's a little warm after 40 minutes plus whatever outside. Stupid. Okay. So I want to go over this a little bit. If you want to mount the device to the wall, you're going to use this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put this in the drywall. And if you don't have studs to mount this to, what you're going to do is you're going to use drywall anchors, the big ones that are good for maybe 100 pounds each. Not the little dinky ones that you use to hang up a picture frame. You're going to put drywall anchors in there and you're going to mount this on there. And then the whole device hangs on the wall. Now, it hangs on the wall and then at the bottom it has these two little feet and it's designed to keep it from the wall keep from banging up against the wall keep it from getting too close you can put screws and anchors in the bottom or you can leave them out but i just want to go over that a little bit you can whirl it around or you can mount it to the wall it doesn't get that hot in the back it is warm to the touch if you touch the back of it when it's on high but not hot